So we're working today on our 93 Nissan hard body, otherwise known as a D21 pickup. This has the 2.4 cylinder or 2.4 liter four cylinder in it. And it is a five speed and four by four. The four by four is really what interested me in it. Uh, given where we live, having four by four is really handy. So I'm trying to get the Ranger ready to sell and replace it with this guy. And got a good deal on it because it wasn't running right when I got it. The seller told me all about all the stuff he had done to it. He said it used to be his daily driver. And then one day it started chugging hard and wasn't running right. So he started going through the system, replaced a lot of things on here. He replaced the fuel regulator, cleaned the injectors, replaced the idle air control valve, replaced the throttle position sensor, um, plugs, wires. He was going through it. Nothing was making it better. So he finally decided to get rid of it. And so I got it. Okay, so a couple things that I've done to it so far. I put a fuel filter on, which is, this is an incredibly easy truck to work on. I'm really uh, excited about having it. Here's the fuel filter right here. Very, very easy to get to. It's just two lines. Got to pop those off and you're good to go there. So I did the fuel filter. And I also replaced the, uh, you know you have a vehicle that you work on when you got a PV blaster just sitting in it. But here is the coil, the ignition coil. That was also very easy to do. You have these two bolts, one and two, right there. This whole assembly comes off, and then you just have those two screw-through bolts that you pop off. That was very easy. Just uh, you got the one butt connector coming in the back, and then the the coil going off the top down to the distributor. So that was very easy. That was his guess, as he thought it, the next thing in the system was the coil. Uh, it wasn't expensive, only about $20, so I went ahead and threw one on there. Still didn't make a difference. So um, the next thing that I did was I thought maybe that the catalytic converter was clogged. So I came back and the bolts were just too rusty on there. So I went ahead and cut off the uh, catalytic converter. I just used my four inch uh, grinding tool with a cutoff wheel and just took a few minutes to cut that off of there. Um, that didn't make a difference so it's not the it's not the catalytic converter and that's an easy thing to undo just put a uh, connector on there. So next thing that I looked at was the O2 sensor. Now the O2 sensor is right here right at the the base of the exhaust manifold screws in right there down into the manifold and immediately I noticed that it wasn't connected connector here right there so I said well let's see what happens so I connected it it's a simple one wire and ran exactly the same so it didn't make a difference but the fact that plugging it in and not having it plugged in didn't make a difference. I said, hmm, maybe there's something wrong with this thing. So it was it was a uh, bit of a pita to get out of there, but here it is. Now I do have. Before people start saying, "Oh, boo, you didn't do it right." Look, I've got the right tool. Okay. Let me see where I put it down. Here is the right tool, right here. Okay. I had put a little bit of tape on there in an attempt to try to give it a little more uh, friction in seating it on there. But this is the, the O2 sensor removal tool, 7 8 or 22 millimeter. This is, the, this is the proper tool. Problem was it just was not getting enough grip on that thing. And I tried and I tried and I tugged at it and tugged at it and no go. And so finally I said, you know, this thing probably isn't good. I'm just going to cut it off and I ended up using my 7 8 a deep socket 7 8 fit down over it just right and voila no problem getting that sucker off there now this is it's got the Nissan stamp on it although it is Bosch so and you can tell it's been 
pretty beaten up. Looked like somebody tried to get it off before and failed. And uh, so this thing was super rust welded in there. Really, really gummed up. And look, the this is the it's supposed to have a, a little piece that comes out, some holes in it and whatnot, right? Um, it's supposed to have basically a capsule that comes off there and sits down in there. And as the exhaust runs over it, it feeds information to the uh, engine computer and tells it how rich or lean to make the uh, mixture. Well, that thing is plumb broke off there. I mean, it's gone. There is nothing left of it. <laughs> it ought to have a piece that comes out about that far. And and it was super, you can see the carboning going on here. It was super carboned in there. So my guess is probably when it when it broke off is when he started having his problems. That thing just plumb broke right off into the exhaust. And uh, yeah, if this thing isn't working, it's going to cause all sorts of problems. And you can see it has started to strip and was not not simple to get off of there but so I ended up having to cut the the tail off again that's why you have that tool is it it's more like a C so you can slip it over the wiring get that on there I was thinking I'd pull this maybe clean it well there's nothing to clean the daggum thing is just broke apart so uh, also not a very expensive fix <coughs> I think this is gonna run me about twenty twenty five dollars maybe something in that range and I got a Bosch part number here, so I can plug that in and uh, get my part and get it figured out. Now, word to the wise on reinstalling one of these. First of all, you don't have to crank it down so hard that, you know, you you got to you gotta twist your arm to get it off of there. It's not holding anything together. Like, there's, it's not, you know, there's no chassis being held together by this thing. You just need to get it down snug. But second, put some thread uh, anti-seize on these just like you're installing a spark plug put some thread anti-seize on there that'll make um you know taking it off a heck of a lot easier so um i i'm gonna have to wait till i get the new part to see if it works right but i have a good feeling that that might be in fact our problem and we might be on the road again once we get that new part in